All right, Leo, here we go. Why do I always sometimes, well, always sometimes open your readings by saying, Leo, 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 Leo. I don't know, but this time I will. Uh, this is, uh, you know, you got that Ten of Swords in the uh, weekly reading, in the week we're in right now, May 1st through the 7th. And I said, what the fuck's going on there? All I got off that card was, that's it, I'm done. That's what I got. Let's find out in another episode here of the Leo Soap Opera, which everyone's watching, even if they're not a Leo. Everybody should be watching it anyway. You're a secondary hotspot in this soulmate cycle. This is general reading. May or may not resonate with you. I'm pulling in a pretty specific set of Leo energy here the universe has given me. And I, I imagine like it always does, like the smart kid in class, I get all the hard problems. But that's okay. I can handle it. Uh, so if you found this reading, you found it for a reason. This reading is, is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. This, in today's episode, I'm going to do something a little different here with my pre-shuffle. I'm not going to tell you what the cards are. I'll go back later because you, you, you don't all know my deck here, the animal deck. I know there's a lot of new people here. But I'm just going to throw this out for you here. Okay? This, is, this, is, this pre-shuffle is me talking to the universe. This is I shuffle the deck. I say, give me the soulmate cycle and the current energies from the angle of Leah. Okay? I can't tell you apart from your soulmate, Leo, as I always tell you, I'm honest with you, your frequencies are very close. But, but, uh, with that I say somebody, but for most of you this is the incoming energy. And I know I pulled a percentage on that at one time, it's about 26% you, and for the rest of you it's your person, right? Okay. Somebody here, some truths are coming to the surface, right? I'll show you the first two and then I'll flip through. The High Priestess and the Queen of Swords. This Queen of Swords has taken action. I, I've been pulling this card lately, and it's been coming up like she holding a flamethrower, not a sword. Okay? Uh, a lot's coming up from the surface. There's a lot of secrets in this person's life. No doubt about it. Mostly about their relationship. The Leo energy that I pull in is somebody who's surrounded by toxin. And they're just sitting in it. And you were their escape. This soulmate connection was a gift from the universe for them to get out of it. Find something new. Learn something new. Okay? Having said that, it looks like the flamethrower is lit, okay? I got somebody here getting real, following their intuition, cutting something out that no longer suits them, right? About something long-term on their side, that they're, they're gone. I mean, it is literally, they're determined to either fix it or do something about it. I think for most of you, it's get the fuck out of it, because there's a tower right there. Something's happening. This is part of that catalyst energy. Okay, it's part of the catalyst energy where there's something, whether you do anything or not, there's something in the energy that's causing something to happen. It's a serendipitous event. Works in your favor as part of the soulmate connection. Either way, it's a tower, and that tower is crossed by the Eight of Cups. Somebody walking away from eight broken cups who finally wants their happiness. The Seven of Wands standing up and doing what's right for them, getting the strength to do it. Leo energy, which is passionate forward movement. Holding one of the roses from the Two of Cups, which tells me that they want to build a foundation, Three of Pentacles, and have a real Four of Pentacles, a happy new beginning, with something they're hurt over, with something a lot of pain. They want to end the pain. They put this connection in pain. They, they were in pain from this connection. Why? Because... They behave like the Burger King, but this is that emperor that's taking control. This is that balanced emperor, right? Who's now getting real, right? The Queen of Wands, Fakey McFakerman, crossing the Four of Cups, getting real about something they rejected, which, which was you and love in general. This person probably cut a lot of people out of their life that might have been good for them, all right, and things. Uh, anyway, someone getting Fakey McFakerman is crossing the Four of Cups, getting real about love. The Queen of Cups, the most love I can pull from the deck. And they want to talk to you. They want to come in and find that rainbow. That's the rainbow on the Nine of Cups. Yeah. And underneath that, just for fun, it's the sun. Okay? This person wants some sunshine. This is a story here at the bottom of my deck. And I just kept going before I hit the record button. I did all that. I went through all those cards. I mean, it's normally further than I would go. But the story is deep here. This person, there's determination within this person. There's also, I, mean, I told you, this Queen of Swords is holding a flamethrower, not a sword. So I don't know. This looks good. And, and, and remember, we're in the new energy now, right? The new energy, which if you don't act, you get a tower. This tower shows me action. It's crossed by the Eight of Cups. 
It shows, and you know, they know this is something they have to do because if they don't, the thing is, if your person, let's say they're married, right? And they keep making it work, which is what most people do. They fight, somebody screws them over, the fight, oh, we're done, we're done, we're done. They have a little makeup sex and then everything's fine. All of a sudden, we're making it work. We're going to counseling and we're making it work. Okay, great. But history is doomed to repeat unless we fix the core problem. The core problem here is never fixed. It's clear in this connection. Whatever this connection is that this person is in that's toxic past its expiration date. But the thing is, every time they try to make it work again, part of the energy of that tower, every time they try to make it work again, um, they get depressed. Because they've already, they can't unsee you. They, you know, you're part of this energy too. Energy's always in layers. There's a lot here. Of this Queen of Swords, it's a truth they know about the soulmate connection that they can't unknow. Right? It's powerful energy. Let's shuffle the deck. Let's see where we go. This is going to be a good episode of the Leo soap opera. I can tell you that. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Leo universe. What's going on here? This first card out is before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? I show you the pre-shuffle because I think you should see it. You know, normally and when I first started out out here, I didn't show it to anybody. I didn't bother. It was just before, you know, it was just before the reading. So I knew kind of what was going on. But you might as well see it. It's a good part of our story. It's like the previews from the la or the, the, the scenes from the previous episode at the beginning of a TV show. It's like that, you know, it's like that part of the program. Now we're getting into the this week's episode here or this new episode. Let's see where we go. I mean, soulmate cycle and the angle of Leo. Why are we here? This is interesting. The hermit. We're here because somebody's been doing nothing. Somebody's been just sitting there uh, all the while knowing that they need to do something. Okay? That's the energy that's on that. What comes off of the hermit? Mm, let's cut the deck. Okay. Yeah. Somebody wants that sunshine. This is a minor arcana sun card in a lot of ways. I look at it that way. But somebody wants the happiness. Somebody wants to be happy. They've been doing nothing about making themselves happy. They may be a person who does, who has expectations put upon them, who does for others all the time, all over the place, but very little for themselves. This is someone who, who, wa who wants this. This is fantasy land. It's, it's happily ever after. Somebody wants that. Let's go. Let's shuffle the deck here. I like that hermit before the cut. I do. Normally I wouldn't. It'd be like somebody doing nothing. They're hiding in the hermit cave. No, no, no. All of that is coming to the surface like a volcano. I, that Between that Queen of Swords and that tower and the chariot and the sun and the Eight of Cups, cross, it's just unreal. Let's see where we go here. I saw all of this in your weekly, your one card I pulled on that Ten of Swords in the weekly reading. <clears throat> Let's see where we go here. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Leo. Okay. Oh, look at that. All that shuffling. All that shuffling in our overall energy is the Ten of Cups. It came back around. This is an important card because this is a bit of fantasy land. And what I feel like right now is because that Queen of Wands from the pre... We can't, we can't forget the pre-shuffle. It's part of the reading. All right. Now, I can tell you about it because you, I showed it to you. That's why I started showing it to you so I could tell you about it. And I could give you some transparency in how I'm getting my energy reads here. So you can see it. That's why I show you the cards, so you can see it. My point is that Queen of Wands, fakey McFakerman, then that's how they've been behaving. They've been pretending that everything's great on their side. The king or queen of the cover story, your person, the cover stories are crazy. For most of you Leos, your person's married in this energy uh, or together with someone. It could be a family dynamic or a career they should have ended too. Those are secondary energies. That's just the energy the universe is giving me. It gives me the tough stuff. All right? It gives, it gives us stuff that it knows we can handle. This is tough energy I'm getting here. Whoever this is I'm reading for. This person's sitting in toxin that's against their soul's true purpose. It's been the case the whole time. All my readings tie together. So a lot of these are timeless. You might want to find them because you might be in different positions at, at this point in, in your journey because you're all dealing with a different person. But somebody wants to bring fantasy into reality. They want to fix things in their life right now. And I see it. Look, the Three of Wands is crossing that. I didn't know that was there. The Three of Wands. Very soon, somebody coming to get their Ten Cups. It's happening. It is. 
it is it, it's a real burden here look look the ten of wands is underneath that that's that's a ten that's about to break to an ace of wands a, a passionate new beginning i believe that's true readings on the flip let's see where we go whole reading clarifying ten cups which is what someone wants to get all right i think it's you i'm gonna i'm gonna call it your person from here on out the roles can be reversed okay so this is what your person wants to get i suspect you want a little of this too whether you know and right here's the energy around your connection right here's how your person feels again roles can be reversed it's a leo reading and all bets are off here but this is for ease this is how your person feels in their emotions this is how they feel about you in the soul uh not what they show you not what they tell you it could indicate their the, the condition of their soul energy too i'm worried about that because this person is living is is an actor in their own life playing a role and, and that's a problem that cages the soul that's always a problem uh, here's the hidden energy with the universe wants you to know it's red with the energy of the connection right here's the potential final outcome I say potential because I cannot predict free will I wish to God I could uh, it is, I will clarify everything throw some universe cards over the top I'm not planning to extend this one but if, if I need to I will and if I do there's a link for the extended in the description you can bet your ass your sweet lion asses that if I do extend it because I'm not planning to we find something here all right, let's go. I better not see that toxin. What's the energy around the connection here? You, you, you. Uh, okay, okay. Look, uh, I rest my case, you know. Case closed here. The defense rests. Uh, Empress. It, it, it's the, the energy of the connection is somebody here, your person who's been very, very masculine, right? If, they're a, if your person is a woman... They, got so, they had so much masculine energy in them. I would bet that they look a little mannish. They come across a little man. I don't mean they're ugly or something. I'm not trying to insult your person. You know what I mean, right? They come across a little mannish. You can feel the masculine. You could, even you, if you don't read energy, you don't, you're just, you know, whatever. You're mortal. You could feel the uh, uh, masculine energy off of this person. It, it would be palpable. It would have been. Their feminine energy is coming up. It's, this connection right now is all fucking Empress energy. It's all about the Empress, and it's all about this person. This is why they're they're taking they're making some changes. It's why the Queen of Swords is holding a flamethrower towards something that's toxic on their side. They're walking away from something that they protested. They protested was good. They protested it was great. Oh yeah, they did. Oh, they did. But maybe to the public, to the, to the family, to themselves, they keep it all quiet. They can't keep it quiet anymore. Once this energy comes up, the Empress doesn't take shit. The Empress doesn't tolerate toxin around him or her. Does not. This is nice. It's beautiful. It's good. And it backs up all the readings, including the Twin Flame Journey reading I did on Saturday or whatever it was. Okay? So be sure and check that out. Oh, how do they feel in their emotions right now? <laughs> Guys, seriously, you don't even need me here. And you know I'm not looking at the cards because I'm holding them right here. Come on. I mean, come on. How do they feel with their emotions? It's all about the connection. It's all about this. this you remember the strength card from the pre-shuffle? That lion holding one of the roses from the two of cups in this deck? Well, look, it's the two of cups and their emotions. It's determination. I told you there's determination in the energy. I don't think this person can sit in the toxin anymore. I bet, they, I bet, I bet some of them are watching Steve's Love Tarot. I bet they're listening to me. Or somebody out here on YouTube. I don't know. I get that in the energy. It wouldn't surprise me, you know, because sometimes we don't know that what we've got is toxin and what we're doing is wrong. And we can justify all kinds of shit. We lie to ourselves. It's amazing uh, how the energy we, that we can put ourselves in. Plus, if they're surrounded by toxin, that's illusion. That's devil energy. It's, it creates a, a haze you can't see out of. So you just think that that's it. That's everything. That's the way life is. It's We... And I, I get this a lot. I have for a long time in your person's energy. I've gotten, uh, this is just how we do things. It's how we do it. It's, it's how I was raised or it's, it's just what we do, that kind of thing. No, it isn't. And they know that right now. That's the, how they feel about you is they want, well, this is how they feel in their emotions. They're feeling the soulmate connection is what that means. And this person also wants some balance in their life. They want love. They want the cups. How do I know that? Our overall energy is the Ten of Cups. Um, they see a whole new world with you. I can tell you that with the Three of Wands. 
your new horizons okay and it creates it's heavy on their mind it creates a real burden the ten of wands is crossing that it's underneath it so again uh, very strong energies here let's let's uh let's stick the thermometer up the ass of their soul and get a temperature here how, how do they feel about you and the soul but i think this is more to uh where, where their soul is at right now I, I took a peek at it it's a king of cups and, and it is it's just they're feeling it they're just this how do i phrase this i always talk about the king of cups right this is one of the cards you want in a soul position based on the cards around it it depends on the cards around it this card is bookending the empress with a two of cups down the center what the fuck do you think it means i mean seriously it's real easy i always say the king of cups holds the ace of cups but he he's he or she is real stingy about giving it they're afraid to be vulnerable, right? That's been this person's problem the whole time. With you, it's all about cups, isn't it? Look, ten cups, two cups, eight, uh, king of cups, and empress. Well, that's that's as cuppy as you can get. And and this here is somebody they want to tell you. This card tells me they want, you know, they're feeling the connection, two soulmates to come together. They definitely want cups. They want to share their cup with somebody, which implies they're not doing that on their side, which we know from a lot of extended readings is mostly pentacles on their side, right? This is someone bookending the empress in the soul on the emotional level and in the soul is about to tell you how they feel they want to tell someone how they feel they want to feel they want something that's real they want the happily ever after they're not living it there's been a lot of pretense here with your person and i was i was happy to see fakie mcfakerman getting real in that pre-shuffle and that balanced emperor in that pre-shuffle and i've been happy to see it in recent readings and this is why you're getting a Leo reading today. Because your person of all the signs, of all the angles on this cycle, your person, this, this Leo angle has the most toxin. It has enough toxin to run all the other signs, right? It, it's, you know, it's unreal. It's, it's the Jupiter of toxin. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. You could put all the other planets inside it. <laughs> you know kind of a thing that's that's the leo toxic angle that what this person is around is is against their soul's true purpose big time they are really an actor in their own life anyway this is beautiful what's the universe want to tell us it's red with the empress knight of pentacles that doesn't surprise me the thing is, one of the things this person's realizing is it's all, it's sort of, I know it sounds corny, it's almost like a lifetime movie for me to say this, but I'll just say it anyway. <laughs> Excuse me. It's always been you, right? It's always been the soulmate connection. They always, it was all, it always was, they're always coming towards you. This person, the only thing slowing this person down is pentacles right now. Yeah, they feel all this. This is wide open, full throttle. I got full fucking throttle cups here and love and feminine energy coming up and feels and all that stuff. I got it. And, and it's what they don't have on there. It's all toward the soulmate connection, the two of cups here. Yep. Yep. What's slowing them down is pentacles. And we're going to find out more about that when we clarify. All right. This is the second slowest energy in the tarot. I imagine if they got a divorce, somebody they're worried about losing too much money. That's come up in, in several extendeds in the past. Yeah, I believe that. Or this person's worried about status. There's still, I mean, it's, it's, there's still a little of the old self in there, but it's just slowing them down. It's not stopping them is what the universe is saying here. What's the potential final outcome? It's red with the two of cups here, technically. Victory. Yeah, and it is. It's like a minor arcana chariot right here, the six of wands. They, they both mean, both cards mean victory. All right, but what I get here is victory that transforms someone's life, the butterfly's transformation. So this is almost, the energy of this to me feels like a combo card, a new hybrid card of the chariot and death. Chariot, right? Is it the chariot upright? It is minor arcana. It's up to their free will. I'm sorry, it is. But I can, all I can tell you is what they feel. All I can tell you is what the energy is. I can't predict what the 3D person's going to do. This could all just be them sitting in a chair sit in, 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 at night in the dark alone in their living room and feeling all of this. Okay? And they, what they want to do is come towards you. They, this is communication when it falls here. They want to. We saw it with the chariot too, even in the pre-shuffle. 
But whether they do it or not is up to them. But, you know, they want the, this. This can be a lot of dreaming. This can be dream state, something they're dreaming about. I'm just being honest with you. I'm not trying to shoot my own reading down, but I'm not here to to candy coat your ass, pour caramel over it. That's a bitch to get off in the shower later. You got to have really hot water to melt all that sugar off your ass. I'm not, you know. While I'd appreciate a video of that, I'm not, I'm not interested in putting it on there because I know it's going to be a rough day for you to get that off. And I don't want to get anybody's hopes up too much. This is a whole lot of fairyland. It's Ten of Cups. Happily ever after, right? But, but, there's a very strong energy here. The, the energy is coming towards the soulmate connection in a, in a huge way. Okay, so it, it's very likely this person will come towards you for, for a good majority of you. At the very least, they're get, they, they want out of that toxin. I can tell you that. I could tell you that they want out of it, they know it's there, they know what they want, they feel you. If that helps you in any way, great. They feel you, big time. And, they, and they'd like to tell you, in the soul, they'd like to tell you. That Empress energy forces that. Now we're going to clarify, I got the little light seer deck here, that's the one that wants to talk today. So let's see, the witches are taking, I don't know, some sort of morning break here. Why is the Empress here? Let's clarify, let's go. Why's the Empress here? You know what I don't have on the table? What don't you see? Toxin. It's all about you. I say, the, Look, the moment I pulled the Empress, I said it's all about the soulmate connection. It's all about you. I said the same thing here. I don't have toxin here. It, 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 that, would have, that statement would have been invalidated if any of these base cards were the devil. Okay? Because uh, it, it just wouldn't be right. It wouldn't fit. This, this is a nice reading. It fits. But i got to be honest with you. I wanted a major arcana there. Let's see. Why is the Empress here? Mm -hmm. Either way, they are not happy. If they're telling you they're happy on their side, that's, that's a whole lot of the lady doth protest too much. Protesting, proclaiming something to be true that, that isn't. All right. There's a, there's, a, there's a cover story here in the energy, which I'm not going to get into. But boy, is it. Is this person. This person has been for a long time worried about what other people think. I don't think they are anymore. Not in this moment. Not in this energy. Because I've got the high priestess crossing the empress. It's, it's there. Their feminine energy is coming up. The feminine energy of this connection is overpowering the masculine energy of it. It's almost knocking the connection, because this is the energy of your connection, out of balance. But it's out of balance in a way that I prefer. I would take this feminine, it's fine, somebody's in their feels. They might be, you know, I don't think, I'm not going to say they're going to be cryy or something like that. But they might be sipping some booze, <laughs> you know, I tell you. It could be chain-smoking otter kind of a thing going on here. It, 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 they're feeling this. What's on top of the Empress? Five wands. Look at that. Yeah. Um, it's, it's an, again, they're, they're, these, these two are read together. Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. It, so these energies are going to bleed in. It, it, something pentacle related is slowing them down. You know, uh, it, it can just be that they're afraid to open up to you, so they keep it in fantasy land. It could be, but I don't get that. I get this is more practical on their side. I don't know. Let's see. Why is the five of wands here? Yeah, the two of swords. Something's jamming up. You know, something's jamming it up. Something's slowing it down. Something's causing this person. It, it it can indicate here that there that there's no conflict anymore. They're following their intuition. The conflict, the five of wands, is here because they were at a crossroads. Cause they didn't know what to do. They know what to do now. We know that from the high priestess crossing the empress and the baseline empress energy. But this card is important. Something's slowing them down a little bit here. Still creating a little bit of. Mm, okay, we'll see. We'll get there. Energies and layers. You got to peel it back. Why is the two of cups here? Why? Tell me about the Two of Cups. Why, 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 why? Why is the Two of Cups here? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Oh, fucking hell. Does this person want to come towards you? Jesus H. Criminy. Uh, the, the, the Fool. Yeah, that's a major right. That's the major arcana I wanted here. I wanted a Fool here. I did. That's the card I wanted. Or a Chariot. Um, Jesus. Wow. In their emotions. When they're sitting around in the corner, binge drinking at night about how shitty all this toxin is around me. How do I get out of this? How much money am I going to lose if I get out of this? Or whatever the fuck it is they're telling themselves. 
Uh, this person just wants to take a leap of faith toward the soulmate connection. They want to come towards you. That's why you get victory here in the end. But it is up to their free will. It is. I mean, this is just telling me it's the affecting energy of the Two of Cups. You're, and this is validating. These two cards are validating the Empress. The Empress is a, a irresistible object, right? It, it's got a pull, come to the Empress, kind of a thing like that. Well, this is this is saying the uh, the universe itself. There's a, there's a strong urge to take a leap of faith toward the soulmate connection because they know it's where the cups live, right? And by the way, if your person's married or in a relationship or whatever, or thinks you know, or, well, just whatever, you're not sharing soul space with anyone. By the way, it's all you. It's all the soulmate connection. <clears throat> they feel this on a high level. Why is the Two of Cups here? Ace of Pentacles. Again, there's a pentacle. All right, the, the, the Two of Cups is here because what, on one hand, the way they feel about you is they could have something real with you. They could be themselves. The Ace of Pentacles is real. It's a nice new beginning. It's a solid new beginning. It's, it's the shit of new beginnings. Uh, it, they feel like they can have that with you. All right, so that's kind of the energy that's there, but why is the Ace of Pentacles there? The Nine of Pentacles it's again it's that energy and I hate saying it because I know a lot of readers say it but it is here it's the only way to phrase it to you the reason that there's still something holding on here holding on stopping this person from going in the water from taking that leap of faith is because they know they know they have to come right with you okay they do but also in another layer of energy the, I know they've been watching you. I know they've been, or at the very least, feeling you or dreaming about you or something along those lines. You're very important to this person. And you are. Because you're, you're their Obi-Wan. This is, this is a reading that shows that. You know, the fact that they waver. Basically, you're the shit. Okay? And they have to come right. That's one layer of energy. The other layer of energy where it pertains to them is they need to get single and free to pursue to have this new, this, this beautiful new beginning with you. They need to uh, find their independence. We'll find out if they do. And, and that ties directly, because these are pentacles, and this is the only other pentacle here, it ties directly to the message from the universe. We're going to get there, but first we need to look here. Let's talk about the King of Cups, because their soul is all cups. But their 3D is marred with pentacles, stopping them from getting the cups and bringing fantasy into reality. All right? It is what it is. We peel back the energy in layers. All right? That's why we can't be quick to sugarcoat readings, those of you that pull cards and are watching me. You see what happened here? We get the full story as we go. You peel it back in layers. You can't be quick to sugarcoat. I know it's tempting to get those views. I know you love it. You know, any sugarcoated reading gets ten times the views of a but I don't understand why people want to be lied to. You know, I don't. That's just nonsense. That's going to lead you to drinking. It's okay. This person, oh, fine. This person loves you. They want to come towards you. You're very important to them. But it's complicated. It's more complicated than that. That's not a reading. Sure, victory. There you go. It's more complicated than that. There's things going on on their side that complicate things. They need to get single and free to pursue to have this new beginning for you. The reason the Ace of Pentacles is here is because of the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, on one level, they know they need to come right. The end, you're the shit, but energy's always in layers. The, the main layer, this is their emotions. Their emotions are, well, I can't have this. I can't bring them this Ace of Pentacles until I find my independence. Until I can get a falcon. All right? it, it's, it's like coming towards me. You don't come at me without a falcon. Okay? It, it's just the way it is. Let's, let's talk about this King of Cups. This is the soul. You're not soul, sharing soul space with anybody. I can promise you that. Whatever's on their side, if, if it's a marriage, for example, they, they look, or a family that's controlling, that's the two most common for Leo. They, uh, they see it as just a practical thing. It's something that just looks good on paper, and I've told you that. That's still here. And they, they're just tired of it. That Queen of Swords we opened with has a fucking flamethrower, I'm going to tell you right now. Look at this. Look at this. We're pulling on the soul energy. And again, we get ten cups. It's our overall energy of the reading. It's feedback and it's 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 originating from their soul okay this is unreal this is it, this these cards here bookend these cards here it drives this person crazy that they can't talk to you that they can't tell you how they feel there's something jamming it up where they can't just yet 
but it is coming towards you. They want this. This is beautiful. They, the soul energy is all cups. And it's like I told you, it's bookending the Empress. And I said about the Empress, the energy around your connection, it's all feminine energy. It's all feelings and feelings and feelings. And somebody, somebody might even be getting depressed at what they have on their side. And they, and they might be convincing themselves that they're stuck in it, just like Sarah Gilbert here. Convincing themselves that they're stuck in it. You're not stuck in it. You don't have to play Darlene your whole life. You don't. It's okay. You could take other roles. What's on top here? The uh, Six of Wands. Look at the look at the symmetry. This is Ten of Cups crossing here. Ten Cups, double, double Ten Cups. Six of Wands here. This means that I have to pay attention. This means that for me to read the soul energy, I need to pay attention to this overall energy and the final outcome energy. So I take them and they tie back. So that being said, this person is, there's, there's a determination here. This person wants to take this with the Ten of Cups here. This is victory. With the Ten of Cups here, which can be fairyland sitting on light, s sitting on a rainbow. You can't. It's light energy. Right? They want to take fantasy into reality. They feel that in the soul. It's what they want to do. So they are, so that validates the entire read here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles on top. It means, it also validates that Queen of Swords with a flamethrower that we opened with. Somebody's taking action here, which also back validates the Ten of Swords I got in your weekly reading. Look at that. You see how my readings all tie together and they check each other? Yeah, yeah. this channel's a little different. I'm not just pulling readings willy-nilly. I'm here to study a connection cycle. And I, when I study something, I'm not like the slacker kid in the back of the room. No, I'm the smart kid in the front of the room who does research on his own. No, no, you know, I don't join the soccer team or anything like that. I'm busy researching. When I study something, I fucking study it. Ace, and I'm studying it here right in front of you, which benefits you on some level. You get to find out a little bit about it. Speaking of finding out, Ace of, Ace of Swords. This is someone who's taking action. I believe action is being, I see it here. Why, why victory here? Why, why? Why do they get victory over this? Because they're taking action. Because they're acting on uh, epiphanies they've had. They're acting on their feelings. In this uh, Ace of Swords here in the Lightseer deck, it's, it starts in the brain and it radiates out into the world. Okay, It starts in the brain and radiates out into the world. I've seen readers here on YouTube read this in the opposite direction. They obviously aren't familiar with the laws of physics and what light does. Okay, Unless it's a laser pointer, but this isn't a laser pointer because it's diffusing out. You shine your flashlight on something, it diffuses out as it goes. This is light diffusing out. So what that is, is, is that's how they're going to get victory. That's how they're going to transform fairyland into reality. Their soul wants to do it. Their brain and ego wants to do it. The energy of the connection is there for it. Now we finally get to the Nine of Pentacles, which is that pinnacle, that practical thing that's slowing us down. Let's find out what it is. Let's go. Let's shuffle the deck on it. All right. I like to give you transparency. I want you to understand these readings, all right? So nobody get false hope or any of this nonsense that's out there, okay? I don't give a fuck. You don't have to have false hope. Look, if you want to, uh, for, for me, if I were you in this situation, based on this energy here, I'd be happy just to find out I was right. This person did love me, and they do think about me all the time, and their fucking marriage or relationship or whatever it is on their side does suck. And it is toxic. That would be val that would be vindication for me. I would be perfectly fine with that, and I, because I would be aware that this person's free will, maybe they, you know, they might be chicken shit. I don't know, but it looks like they're doing something about it. It is they are coming towards you. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? It ends in victory one way or another, but it is minor arcana. It's up to them. All right, but we are we do have something here where fantasy land needs to come into reality. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? What you trying to tell me, universe, about these pentacles slowing things down? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. I said, I did rewind. I said this card, because it's pentacles, ties to these, because these are the pentacles on the table. Right? Didn't I say that? Oh, I did. Yep, it does. The fool was crossing here. The fool, after all that shuffling, is crossing here. Look at that. Come on now. All right? Steve Love Tarot, the silver metal energy reader. Oh, come on. That doesn't even sound right. I'm just fucking with you. It's easier to be the second best anyway. First best is a lot to live up to. I'll take second best. It's fine. I don't care. Right here. My self-worth isn't based on my tarot reading skills. Uh, the fool. 
It's crossing this. What's this pinnacle thing that's slowing things down here? What is it? There's something that's got them. I'm draw all I'm drawn to, look, all I'm drawn to is right here. One little stick. It's this nonsense. It, this person tells themselves nonsense. I believe it. I see it here. With, with the two of swords, I see it here with the five of wands. Aren't those both nonsense? She could take that blindfold off, right? And over here, the five of wands is always, it's always bullshit. It's the weakest energy of the tarot as I read it. It's always some sort of nonsense, okay? This is nonsense. It's just a little stick stopping her from falling off. She's ready to go. She even got her shoes off. She's not going to get her shoes wet. Come on. You're all right. You're ready to go. What do we got here? Look at this. Unfucking real. Knight of Pentacles on top of Knight of Pentacles. I ask why the Knight of Pentacles is here. The universe gives me a Knight of Pentacles. This is the affecting energy. It's slowing them down. Is they're holding on to something, or I believe something's holding on to them. I don't believe they're holding on to it. It's possible for some of you that they are. It is. But I really get a strong energy of something's holding on to them. And I get that a lot with you in the extendeds. And I know some of you are like, no, 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 it's them. They're just, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't think so. The, the toxic energy that's around your person, it creates illusion. All right? It makes them overthink. And that's what this is. This is showing me all these pentacles. The Lightseer version of this card shows me all these pentacles. This is wasted time. But these are all the little points. Each individual pentacle here is, is a point of, of thought on their side. It's a point that's slowing things down. Something they need to resolve within themselves. But it's also, it's also got a kind of a hold on them. It's like this guy needs to go back and pick these up. Sort of a thing. What I'm saying is... When the energy is, is, is toxic around a person like this, it creates illusion. And sometimes we don't know we're being controlled. Okay? There's a, there's a control element here. I don't know what the next card is, but why why'd you give me double Knight of Pentacles here besides the point I just made? Mm, the Three of Wands. Mm. Again, she on the shore. She got the surfboard. She got everything. It's like what I told you about the fool. The shoes are off. You're ready to go. You know, what's what's the hold up here? What's the hold up here? There is a lot of fears. This is read with the two of swords. There's a lot of fears this person has, and it's fairy stories they make up to themselves. That's part of the fairy story energy of the Ten of Cups. There's all sorts of Portuguese man of war in there. There's all kinds of jellyfish. There's, it could be killer whales. I mean, they're doing crazy shit like killer whales and stuff. No, I doubt Orca is out there. All right? Willie's been freed. He gone. Okay? Um... Uh, it's they just perpetually on the edge, but something is stopping it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little more on that. But first, I need to. We're we're gonna get a little more of it here. But if I need more, I'm gonna pull more on that three of wands, because we had a three of wands underneath the uh, ten of cups too. Okay, something keeps this keeps you the soulmate cycle, the the, the cups in fantasy land. Uh, what's the what what's the outcome here? Give me the final final on this. Why is the six of wands here? Why? Why is the six of wands here? Uh, page of swords. Yeah, that's why. Uh, they don't know if they can bring you the amount of emotion. This is disappointing, right? This person disappoints themselves by not breaking free here. So that's why I say something's holding on to them. They... This is in, this validates my read over here. The, this person is, is just hangs in the background, hangs in the shadows. They spy, if you will. As they do that, they they see that they're not on your level, emotionally. It could be emotionally, you know, just emotionally. It might be financially too. Maybe they once had it together and they don't anymore. I don't know. Uh, what's the what's what's on top here? Why is this six of one? Yeah, there's a tower. Yeah, there it is. There's a tower. And it's it's a common card here. I still don't have a devil on the table. All I've got is someone who knows that they need to do something. And when they don't do it, it creates a tower. But also on another layer of energy, and it it, it, it tears everything down for them. It, it, it's, a, it's an emotional breakdown here of some kind. A nervous breakdown. I got the Rolling Stones 19th nervous breakdown ringing in my head it was the moment I threw this card. And it's red. It makes sense because they know that you'd be victory. You would change their life. Transformation here. It's a beautiful butterfly, too. It's nice. It's a beautiful transformation. 
But the thing is, this is red with the uh, Ace of Pentacles. And that Ace of Pentacles, again, is somebody can't bring you this, have this new beginning with you until they get themselves single and free to pursue. This on top of victory would tell me that there's an attempt being made here for someone to start their life over again. It depends what falls here. I don't, there it is. There it is. Bringing down the long-term commitment. That's why you get victory. Whatever happens with this person, this, these are two major arcana cards. I said in the outcome I wanted major arcana, and I got it. All right? Mm. Okay, i got to be honest with you. There's, there's two energies here. This is disappointment. It's a disappointing energy, the Page of Swords. It's all right. You, on one side, on the A side of the energy, you might be disappointed. You're going to get some vindication here, but you might be disappointed that this person makes things work again with a long-term commitment. All right? You might be disappointed by that. Uh, they, they're, it's, it's like their energy sees that as, as, as a victory. All right? And they're going to try to transform things and make it work. On the other hand, the more, more strong, well, the more stronger, the stronger energy is that this person gets rid of something on their side, bring, tears it down, something tears down something long term, which brings you a victory with this person. But you might be disappointed with how they come towards you. Okay? So for some of you, you'll hear from this person, for most of you, they're getting rid of something long term on their side because spiritually, they've changed a lot. It's all this type of energy here, this King of Cups is rooted in their soul energy. Um, Interesting here, the Hierophant is red with the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody, they want free. They want to get free of this long-term commitment. They do. This person's completely changed. They want a whole new life. Let's, let's take a look here real quick. Let me pull on this Three of Wands. I'm going to wake the witches up. All right, let's go. No more sleeping in. Let me just take a look here because I think this is kind of a linchpin. What's going on with this Three of Wands? Give me some, give me a stack on the Three of Wands here. Let's see what we get. Tell me about it. Tell me about the Three of Wands. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I say give me a stack on the Three of Wands. Crossing the Three of Wands is the Three of Wands with the cape of assholeness on. Right? The cape of assholeness we've been calling it. They're perpetually looking at you. They've got to do something. I think something drastic happens here. This again represents that catalyst energy. I think what the universe is trying to tell me is don't worry. They're going to take care of business on their side. Most of them anyway. It is up to their free will. They're going to take care of business on their side. But it's Queen of Pentacles. They're worried about losing stability on their side. They're worried about opening up emotionally. They don't know how to live life by the cup. And the Eight of Pentacles, they might, they might lose some money here. They might have to... I, I don't know. It, it's... They have to work their way up to the Nine of Pentacles, the Eight, well, the Eight of Pentacles here, because these cards are tied with these cards. We know that because it's where the Pentacles are. This Nine of Pentacles is what this guy is working toward. Okay, they're working their way up to it. There's something here where, in order to get, there is this energy of they're going to lose too much if they get out of this situation. And that's something that's jamming them up a little bit. I don't know what that means. It's going to mean something different for all of you. But let's see what they do here. Let's take a look. Let's see what they do. Like I said, I wasn't planning on extending this. It depends what I get here. I'm going to pull on the tower. Give me a stack on the tower. All right. Let's see here. Let's see where we go. Leo readings are always tricky. <laughs> it's crossed by the nine of swords alright well that's the end of worrying alright it's nonsense it's pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey yeah they're just going to go for it the fool is here the fool was crossing here and here and there's that queen of swords with the flamethrower it's all about the tower the tower was the center of the pre-shuffle and the tower is, is a very important card here the tower is what causes so some sort of a catalyst occurs that causes this person to end a long-term connection and they basically come toward you when they do. It launches everything in motion. They're then single and free to pursue and they come toward you. What, uh, that's basically what it says here. Now, let's find out here real quick. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Where's the Queen of Swords going? <laughs> 
victor to you. It's crossing the Ace of Pentacles. You're the Ace of Pentacles. You're that energy of that's you're the, the that new beginning that they want. That solid new beginning. It's it's it, the Queen of Swords comes towards you. It's it's all because of this soulmate connection at the very least. Why they're making these changes? But there are some changes being made. Look at that. You, Temperance, Angel Energy. I don't have a devil on the table. If you want more proof, I got the Two of Cups next. They're coming toward the soulmate connection. Uh, where's the Two of Cups? It's right here. I got two matching cards from their emotions. I've got an Ace of Pentacles. I've got a Two of Cups. And I've got Angel Energy, which for me is resonating off of the Empress. Okay? So that being said, this person is taking care of business. But there's some sort of catalyst that occurs. This Eight of Pentacles could be them setting money aside, working towards. I've seen your person doing this before. But this time it's different. The energy is we're in the new cycle now. Okay? We're in that new energy cycle. I believe they do take some action here. I believe something happens. There's some sort of catalyst here. I'll, I'll walk you through it. There's some sort of catalyst that occurs. Okay? Uh, with this tower here. That causes, uh, it's almost a spiritual awakening within them. That causes them to get single and free to pursue. And as they do that. They take a leap of faith in a new direction. Queen of Swords, because of some truths they know, and they and they cut something out. They cut something out of their life, and they take a leap of faith in a new direction. Toward what? When I pulled on the Queen of Swords, I get the Angel. I get Temperance. Toward their happiness. Toward what they want, which we know is the Two of Cups, which is also the card that's here, and their emotions. So that being said, there's a good chance. A lot of you will hear from this person. A lot of this depends on their free will, but not the catalyst. The catalyst energy, and that's why I pulled a, a couple of three cards on it and why I've been mentioning it. The catalyst energy that's here in May is very major arcana. And I said, rewind, watch some of my old videos. I said, May, we're going to see a lot of towers. I said that, right? We've seen two in this reading so far. This little reading here. Two. And one of them right here, and both of them in key positions, by the way. Up in the pre-shuffle, the, the tower caused them to walk away from eight broken cups. Think about it. You want to see the symmetry? I'll show it to you. I'll, I'll give you the transparency. In the pre-shuffle, the tower was crossed by the eight of cups. The tower caused them to walk away from eight broken cups toward their happiness. Okay? Because of the tower. I mean, right here, the tower is causing them to walk away and move away from something, cut something out of their life that no longer suits them, and go toward their happiness. It's the same message, except it's more specific here in the reading. It talks specifically about the soulmate connection. At the very least, they want something that's cup-based, and they want something that's equal. That implies they do not have that on their side. Okay? Let's see. I'm not going to extend this one, but I am going to say let's see. With that let's pull on that implication. What do they have on their side? Tell me about. Now for most of you, this person's married or in a relationship. Okay, uh, it can be a family or a career, but I got to be honest with you. This energy is somebody's in a toxic fucking situation here, and they have been for some time. And I've been yelling at them since I got here. But what is on their side? Tell me. So if they want to come toward, they want this two cups. What do they got now? Hmm? I don't know. Let's find out. What do they got now? <laughs> four, four cups. They're bored. It's no love. It's nonsense. They're bored. High Priestess reversed and eight broken cups to walk away from. High Priestess, these are red, center, left, right. And by the way, crossing the High Priestess reversed is the, is the Nine of Swords. This is what I have been telling you. This is someone who is operating against their soul's true purpose. They're, they, they ignore it. They, they, they let it pass by. This guy is ignoring this girl here. They ignore it. Like the politician's wife that ignores that he cheats in every town they go to just because she wants to keep the status and keep the peace. She just looks the other way. Your, your person is in something that they're not happy about. If they're coming to the end of dealing with with the nine swords here, okay? Crossed by the crossing the high priestess, reversed, which again it's all coming to the surface. 
So what they've got on their side is the eight cups. What they're walking away from isn't you. They're walking away from eight broken cups toward their happiness. What they've got is very unhappy. This card says it all. It's right here. They're bored. It's nothing. There's nothing there. There hasn't been anything there. There may have never been anything there. Okay, it always comes up this way. And it causes this person a lot of strife. Look at them. That's their picture at night. Male, male or female, that's what they wear to bed. Okay? I mean, it, it really does. And I'll tell you what. I said this is a nine, right? Nines are the end in tarot. Yeah, this is coming to an end. 180 degree turn, that wheel of fortune turns. 180 degrees. This is all coming to an end. This strife is coming to an end. And, and part of the reason also the wheel is turning on this and why this is happening with the wheel crossing it is because of you. It's because they've seen something that they can't unsee. I say that always about the Queen of Swords. You can't unknow the truth here. And that's, that's part. There's some sort of catalyst that happens. It's going to vary for all of you. But at the end of the day, we got two soulmates coming together. The universe is pretty convinced about that. Or this per at the very least, this person may chicken out and not come towards you because you're so much the shit. I don't know. But at the very least, it's someone who does. You, you should at least be happy for them that they get out of this toxic situation, whether they come toward you or not. That would make you a very enlightened person, a very enlightened empress. All right? Whether they come toward you or not, this person is after this in their life now. Not this. Or this. Mm. Or this. All right. Also, by the way, there's an energy around this since I'm an energy reader and there's no reason I shouldn't tell you what's here. There's an, when I pull on their side, there's an energy, there's an extra energy around this Eight of Cups. I think somebody here, if you look back in the history of it, if it's a relationship or a marriage, somebody here has threatened to leave more than one time. I don't know who. Could be your person. Maybe they threatened to leave. Could be the other person. Maybe they threatened to leave. But there's been, there, there has been some separations at some point. For most of you can't say for all of you but that energy is there somebody here plays plays the game of well i'm uh, plays a game of takeaway and then they come back and they make it work right but the same shit happens over and over again that's the recipe for this that's a recipe for the four of cups which is disappointment boredom bored out of their mind not even interested he's not interested in banging that not even interested because it's such shit energy around that's what I get. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. Okay, I did my best, and I do my best not to set false expectations. I don't trust your person's free will as far as I could throw them. Okay, but they do, uh, they are in their fields, and that, that doesn't bode well in this environment right here. Uh, and it looks like when, when we get the Eight of Cups again, most of them are walking away from Eight Broken Cups. We're waiting for the catalyst. And if you don't know what that is, I did a reading, a three-card reading on the Catalyst Energy recently. Go find it. You won't have to sift too back too far. So it can't be more than two or three readings back. I don't know. Somewhere. Uh, it, it's, it, either way, check it out so you know what's going on with the Catalyst Energy. All right? And I think I've mentioned it on recent readings, too. All right. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful, Leo. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.